Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yanni, and today's video is going to be of my February 2016 tea collection. So just to give you a bit of a backstory about me and my obsession of teas, I am from Barbados and Barbados was once a British colony. So I grew up with parents who drank tea every single morning. They probably still drink tea every single morning. And so it's very cultural to me. I also realized that tea was sort of a holistic way to treat certain ailments. And that's why I absolutely love tea. I actually don't have that much, but I do have a good amount and I would love to show you guys what I currently have in my tea collection. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first tea I'm gonna talk about is Yogi's Pure Green Green Tea, which supports vitality. I was actually exposed to green tea in my parents' home when I was growing up. It's just a tea that they drank a lot of. It is actually really good for combating cancer, so I always try to keep it in my collection even though, I have to be honest, it's not a tea that you drink for the taste. And just to add a quick side note, I tend to usually drink my teas straight with no additions to it, no sugar, very little honey, very, very little lemon. So to drink that with nothing sweet or any other taste, it's gonna taste a little nasty, just to be honest. But I absolutely love this green tea from Yogi. They have different types of green tea. I highly suggest you guys check them out. Next is this Everyday Detox Tea from Traditional Medicinals. It doesn't say on this packaging, but on its newer packaging, it says that uh, this tea promotes healthy liver function, which is really good. I'm just going to advise you, like, this tea, just like the green tea, it's not a tea that you're drinking for taste. I mean, there are some teas that you can drink just for taste, but this tea is so bitter to me. This Honey Lavender Stress Relief Tea from Yogi is literally this week's favorite tea for me. I just love how soothing it is. Maybe I'm buying into what it's supposed to do, which says it helps, it helps to calm and ease tension, but it really is. Just the aroma of the tea alone is very calming for me, so I really like it. I'm probably going to get through the uh, box really quickly, but... I will just go out and replenish it. I never actually drank a tea that had lavender in it, so this is new for me, and as of right now, I'm actually really liking it, so I plan to purchase more in the future. Next up is this ginger tea from Yogi, which supports digestion. If you haven't figured it out already, there's a pattern. I clearly am obsessed with Yogi teas, but they're very affordable and they do the job. But to get back to the point, I actually got this ginger tea because I wanted to see if I could find a tea to replace a few other teas that I've been using specifically for digestion and for helping with cramps during my time of the month. So I purchased it and I drank it and I actually started to come down with a bit of a cold last week and I realized that ginger also helps with colds so I started to drink some of the ginger tea as well as take a bit of medicine and I ended up not getting too sick which is something that happens frequently for me. When I get sick I get really really sick and as of right now if you're not following me on my channel I'm doing way too many things to afford to be sick so I popped that ginger that ginger uh, box open and started drinking 
away. And it did a fantastic job for me. Next up is this Soothing Mint Get Regular Gentle Her Herbal Laxative Tea. I love this tea because I love mint. Mint was like the first tea that I found really helped my cramps. But this tea, this tea really does its job. So if you do get this tea, I highly suggest that if you are going to drink it that you do not leave your house because the results can come at any time. I'm not sure how it's going to work for anybody's body, but it sure does work for me. I actually only have a few packets left, so I have to either go out and find some more of this particular mint, but I need to go out and get some more of this tea because it does its job. I will swear by it. So to go in another direction from all the yogi teas I have, next is this Trader Joe's chamomile tea. It's not caffeinated and that's something you should really watch for is to see which of your teas are caffeinated and which aren't. But chamomile is a tea that has multiple benefits. It's good for cramps and which this is something that is a problem for me is clearly my cramps. Um, it's good just for upset stomach. It's also good for your tea and it's another very soothing tea It's like the mint and the lavender where its taste isn't bitter at all. It's very calming and I actually really like this tea. I'll probably try to replenish it I haven't stopped by Trader Joe's in a good while so I'm not sure I'll be able to get this to replenish this tea as soon as I'd like but I definitely would re-up on it if I got the chance Next is a tea that I swear by. It's this Puka 3 Fennel Tea. Like I said previous, I had suffered from cramps my whole life. I've suffered from terrible, terrible painful cramps. So one month in particular, I saw this Puka 3 Fennel Tea that my mother had sent me and I opened it up and I drank it. And when I tell you that I was astonished by the results of the tea, I it was like, why am I not suffering from pain like I usually am? And when I retraced my steps, I realized it's because I drank this tea. So I went and I searched for it and ordered boxes on top of boxes of it. This tea is the Youth Berry Wild Orange Blossom Blend. I have to say it really slow because it's a lot of words for one tea. <laughs> but I actually got this um, because someone at my job knows that I love teas. I drink tea every morning. And they bought me like a little loose tea kettle so that I can drink loose teas rather than just having to use the tea bag all the time. And so, you know at Tia Vana they have a little kiosk where you can come and sample the tea. This was one of the teas you could sample and it tasted so good. It's one of those teas that's mildly sweet. Therefore, it's not too much. But it actually tastes better cold. So I highly suggest you try that one as well. So yeah, it's the Youthberry Wild Orange Blossom. And this is actually what the tea looks like when it is loose. They actually have to mix it up and shake it up for you and then pour it into the tin, which I think is really cool. This is the Ruby Spice Cider Blended Tea from Tiavana as well. I absolutely love the gold tin from Tiavana. Just want to make that point right now. It's so tasteful and classy. But this tea is the perfect 
blend of like spicy and sweet. It can be a bit strong if you use too much of the loose teas when you're making it. And it's one of the teas that you can drink both hot and cold. So I suggest you give it a try at both temperatures, you know, hot or cold. This right here is the label on the inside. Unlike my other tea, it's not peeling off, so it's still sitting there. And that's what it looks like. I've clearly drank more of this tea than I have of the other one, but as of right now, I love the both of them. So that is it for my February 2016 tea collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of these, please don't forget to like. Let me know if they drink teas or if you're as tea obsessed as I am in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys.